Hey guys, Coral Blonde Wave, I'm Eric. I'm Calvin. I'm Eric. And we're back with It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Last time, you boys met Gail the Snail. Gail the Snail. Uh... Did you guys like it? Did you like Gail the Snail? No, she just kept mashing it. <laughs> Look, we don't normally do this, but I think I'm going to Calvin, what's the word? That you're actually getting married. Wedding dress. Awesome. What? Because you've been coming in here and trying on wedding dresses every Saturday for over a year now? Yeah, that's because it takes a really long time to plan a wedding. Don't get up all over my balls, Lucy. Just go get the dresses. When is the wedding? Soon. Where? A church. Which one? The nearby one. The nearby one? The right down the street. Which street? Spring. What's your fiance's name? Sam. What does he do? S- salt. Salt? A lot of S's. He's sea salt. Sea salt. He's a salt... Seaman, he he dives into the ocean for the sea salt, and then he brings it back up, and then we eat it. So okay, I'm getting the manager. Well, don't get the. <sighs> Damn it. Who's this guy? Dee Reynolds. Yeah. Brad Fisher from high school. Brad Fisher. No way! Yeah. You look amazing. Yeah. Your acne cleared up really well. <laughs> I kind of grew into myself. Yes, <laughs> you did. Yes, you did. Why did I ever break up with you? It was because of the acne. Was it because of the yeah, acne? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, when it got real bad, you dumped me and you said it was because I was going to grow up to look like Edward James Olmos. Uh, oh. I don't know oh. what saying exactly that. Who? It's, it's fine. Edward James Olmos. We he was kids. in uh, yeah. Children. We're not kids anymore. Mm. No. He's in Dexter. He's great. Wow. So you're you're getting married? Wow. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not. This is because I was, but that that didn't work out. Why are you asking? Are you saying no? What's your situation? I'm engaged. Oh. Yeah, and that's why I'm here. My fiance is trying on a dress. I know I'm not supposed to see it before the wedding, but we're having a whole non-traditional kind of oh. small thing. So you should meet a yeah. Babe. Nah. Yeah. Come here for a second. I want you to meet a friend of mine. What do you think of this one, Brad? Oh my gosh. Oh my god. The wage is getting married? We, will we learn her name? No. He said, hey babe. He's never gonna say her name. <laughs> I, I've called Melanie babe and stuff too. So I'm not gonna, he did it once. We might learn her name. Maybe, we'll. we'll or her last name. It might be the, the ba da ba da wedding party. Keep it here. Oh no, Charlie, what's he gonna do? Alright, well, just don't poke at it. Don't, just don't poke tell it. him. Don't tell him. What? Oh my god! It's inside? How did they make it so big inside? Is that your end game here, honey? Yeah, I figure we keep the hive in the basement, we'll always have honey. We'll always have bees, is what we'll always have. Wow! What, what? I think I saw a wasp. I think that was a wasp. Did you see that? It looked like a wasp, right? It's a wasp. They want honey out of a wasp. I'm out. I'm out. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to hang with the wasp. It's a paper hive. No. No, wasps do not make honey. All right, well, I'm going to check it out anyway. There could be something delicious in here that wasps do make. I want that. <laughs> that wasps do make. Okay, do not tell Charlie. Because it's private. Uh, that sounds like a whole thing. I'm not into it. Mm. Ah, ah, shit! I just got stung. That was a hornet. This is a hornet's nest. Uh, you know what, guys? Why don't we step in the back office while Charlie deals with this whole hornet wasp situation? Yeah. He can worse. Bees, wasps, hornets. He keeps getting worse, yeah. That makes feel better. Okay, my sexy. Vegetable. Uh, what was that? That's my booty call, where it's some really weird food fetish stuff. Gross. <laughs> okay, you guys, listen up. We got a serious problem. The waitress is getting married. Oh, yeah. I heard about that. Artemis told me. Since when do you talk to Artemis? Oh, oh <laughs> that's the. <laughs> <laughs> right now, we got to do the waitress situation. D, why do you give Incredible. a shit the waitress is getting married? She's been nothing but trouble for us. That's a good point. She doesn't seem to get our sense of humor. We do stuff that I think's funny. Hilarious! Hilarious. <laughs> I cannot believe you're not thinking about Charlie right now. This is going to crush him. Wait, you don't give a shit about Charlie. All you care about is the fact the waitress is getting married before you. Right? That, or she's afraid that Charlie might blow his brains out, and then she'd have to do all the Charlie work. Uh, that's what it is. Those are the selfish not. options. So a, yeah. I do not want to do Charlie's work once he kills himself. B, how could the waitress get married before me? I'm way hotter than she is. And C... Get this, the guy she's marrying, 
used to be my boyfriend. You know, I just realized I don't care about anything she's saying. <laughs> but what I do care about is the fact that Charlie might go postal if he finds out about this and kill all of us. <sighs> Shit, we're probably the ones at real risk here, huh? Yeah. So, okay, well maybe we should just find something to distract him until the whole wedding thing blows over. Mm -hmm. Get him his own booty call. Uh oh. Or at least another check to stop. Hey! Great, in the meantime, I'll try and sabotage the wedding by luring Brad away from her. Yeah. How's that helping? Save yourself the embarrassment. Yeah. Let's yeah, watch out for the horns. Yeah. He's still up there. <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> Why would going after the guy help in any way? It wouldn't. Because she's jealous. Hey, what hey, the? Ah! What are you doing there, buddy? I'm trying to smoke these hornets to death so I can get their honey. They keep flying up the tubes, stinging me all over the face. I think I can swallow one. I don't think he has a chance. I was trying to explain before. You cannot get honey from a hornet's nest. I just don't. There's any science to support that, buddy. There's some very basic science no. out there supporting that. Trust no. me. So is he smoking, trying to blow it in the okay. tube? Yeah. He's doing? They're like crawling up the tube and stinging him in the face. Mm. We're going to get you back on the dating scene, bro. What do you think yeah. about that? Yeah, that's actually why we're here. We're going to put your profile on Match.com. Let me pop a quick gauge on this box. This way we all know it's filled with hornets. Or honey. Okay. Okay, yeah, do what you gotta do. These things stink. Can you just write hornets? Alright, okay, we right, can't the write hornets. Yeah. Yeah. So do you have the makeup? Yeah. Oh, no makeup! Come well, on. those hornets good. things are pretty bad, buddy, yeah, so I think we're not. I am who I am. Right, but yeah, but let's do who you let's are. Pretend like you're not who you are and just try to attract a woman. I, I tell you what, one bit more checkered hat and I smoked a pipe. That work. Why would you want a checkered hat and a pipe? You know, for the Sherlock Holmes look. Why did you want to look like Sherlock Holmes? Who are you trying to track exactly? Intelligent women. Okay, I'm just gonna take the photo right now okay. without the makeup and see if he likes it. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that felt good. Was that sexy? That's a That's horrible picture. That felt sexy. We'll, we'll photoshop. There's, yeah, yeah, I can see where this is going. Yeah, let's we'll just not photoshop. do that right now. Let's let's, let's take another one. No, no, nah, nah, we'll, nah. we'll find another picture that we can use. <laughs> and nah. That'll be fine. Yeah. Let's talk about your likes and dislikes. <laughs> um, how about your favorite food? What would that be? Oh, milk steak. What? Mm -hmm. What? Milk steak. No. Milk steak. Just steak. Just I'm gonna put steak. steak and then Don't put steak. Come. Put milk steak. She'll know what it is. No, she won't What's know what it is. Charlie, nobody knows what that is. No. Okay. All right. Look. What's milk What's steak? What's your favorite hobby? Uh, magnets. <laughs> okay. What? <laughs> Making magnets. Collecting magnets. Playing with magnets. Just magnets. I'm gonna put snowboarding. We'll put snowboarding. Yeah. I don't really yeah. snowboard. No. All right. What are some of your likes? Uh, ghouls. <laughs> what are we talking about? <laughs> Green ghouls. What? Like in movies and cartoons? What? Little yeah. green ghouls, buddy. Don't write ghouls. I'm not. I'm gonna no. travel. Jesus Christ! What are your dislikes? People's knees. Oh come on, Bro, dude! Come on! You know what? We'll just make People's it up. People's knees. We'll make like knees. Like picture will make it up. We're not even gonna use you. I'm not even gonna use you. <laughs> I mean, sometimes knees look weird, I guess. But those are his dislikes. This guy's a knee hater. People's knees. This guy hates knees. He. She's just driving around looking for him. Pinko bitch. But, 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 but. Dennis's car. Yeah. And she's just stopping me on the road. Hey. You guys, how are you? Alright, calm down. I'll be in two seconds. Uh. Anyway, hi. How are you? What, what are you doing? Okay, so listen up. I was thinking, since you're going to be Brad, you were saying how your wedding was going to be all poor or boring or dull or whatever it was you, you were telling me. You said your wedding was going to be dull? You said it was going to be small. Small, yep, that's exactly what it was. Anyway, I was thinking I could help you guys out by throwing you a bachelorette party. And Brad, you can totally come since you guys decided to do that non-traditional. I think we're good. Jumbo. I think we're good. You know what, though? I kind of would like to meet some of your friends. Hold on here. Hold on. What am I hearing? You haven't met some of her great friends? Well, it's just because this happened really quickly. Okay. So yeah. Is it a yes or a no? Because you're kind of because you're trying you uh. I, I think it sounds great. Okay, perfect. Like Wonderful. We've got a deal. See you guys tomorrow night at my place at 8. <laughs> Bye, Brad. Good to see you. Okay, calm down, dickwads. It wasn't that bad. I'd be so mad. I would be. I hate how selfish they are so much. All right, who did you invite? Oh, my the God. The moms. Oh, my God. Frank oh and Artemis. Yeah. That's so much peanut butter. Peter, do you got any bacon bits? We like to put them in Artemis's hair, and they rain down on me when we bang. I think <laughs> a comp salad. It's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. That's such a, that's such a fucked up way. <laughs> oh. They're here, everybody. Uh. <laughs> here you go. Would you like some punch? Is there alcohol in this? No, 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 no. No, absolutely not. I remember what an embarrassing problem you have with alcohol. 
Brad, do you know about her unfortunate problems with drugs and alcohol? Isn't that sad? It's just alcohol. Is it? And he's aware. Oh, really? I thought there was like cocaine and heroin. And remember when you were shooting up with the homeless people and hanging no, no, for no. money on the street? Wow, you're making all of that up. Really? Oh, no, no, no. You know what? You're absolutely right. I'm confusing you with another pathetic drunk that I know. So you can still have fun, can't you, Brad? I can. <gasps> Let's get I... a beer. Okay. <laughs> Woohoo! You look real nice. Well, I Sure, I don't know Poor waitress. Like Look how mad she is. <laughs> She's sleeping with that cigarette around. <sighs> okay, this chick's a lawyer. She's gonna be hey, sharp. we've been here before with Frank. We've been here, yeah. yeah. Like this place. Jeez. He's also scratched no, and no, no, stung. No, 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 no. Listen, man, you're a philanthropist. That's what you are, okay? You used to own a small business, but you gave all that up to help others. All right, right now, who do I help? Who am I helping? It doesn't matter. I don't know, old people, uh, children, it, autistics, uh, dyslexic It really folks. doesn't matter. I'm a full-on... He helps dyslexic. Phil... 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 How much cheese is too much cheese? Any amount of cheese. Before a date is too much cheese. I had a lot of cheese. I had a block of cheese. Okay, okay. Don't block of cheese. <laughs> I had a lot. I'm nervous. I started eating cheese, man. Right, right, right. Does that calm you down? Just don't breathe in her direction. Just okay, you calm do? you down. Relax. Stick to the game plan. Do I look handsome? You look great. <laughs> it looks so like a serial a killer. Sort of a newlywed type of game and see how well you two know each other. It's still okay? somehow not okay, as much as Dennis. Who? Broke Brad's heart in high school and feels really bad about it. Me, I broke Brad's heart in high school and I feel really bad about it. Okay. Wait, you went to high school with us? Yeah, I sat right next to you in Trig. Huh? Wow, you are very forgettable. Anyway, I will, I will have you all know that I also broke Brad's heart in high school. So you dated D? Hmm. Briefly, yeah. We dated hard. Yep. Both you girls dumped him because of his pizza face. Ooh. Okay, question number two. How many people in the room have had sex with the bride-to-be? <laughs> uh, just me, I hope. <laughs> Whoops. Uh-uh. Over here, guy. Ooh, okay, you know what? That was, a, that was a really dark time in my life, and it was a terrible mistake. No, it's true. To be fair, it's true. She's in love with my brother. They have a sex tape together. This guy no. came along. Okay. I used to look like her. Give me my cigarettes. I, mean, I didn't tell you to go. I didn't give you the high school. Everybody's I give you my Charlie girl. Oh, <laughs> oh, no. Okay, Brad, I think it's time for us to go. <laughs> no, 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 Brad. No, don't leave yet. I'm sorry. Hold on. No, no, don't leave. Oh, you bitch. Oh, God damn it. I should be the one getting married. This is depressing. Bitch. Want to go get sweaty in the bathroom? Sure do. Yeah. No, no one's getting it's sweaty in my bathroom. Just get out of here. Okay, we'll go get a sweaty in a Wendy's bathroom. Great, go upstairs. They turn and look at each other so happy. Get out of here. This party There's like food sucks. and I need sweaty. I don't really want to give you shit, you old bitch. Oh my god, no, you she can't borrow salad dressing or condiments or anything else that you two want to jam up into each other's. I, uh, I forgot something. Oh, what? I forgot to tell you. I still love you. I've lost all respect for this man. I hope they left and then crafted a way to screw with her. And that's what this is. Yes, yeah, yeah, I am. Yeah. Sorry, I'm late. Um, You're Jackie. Yes, I am. <laughs> Are you all right? <laughs> yeah, this? I, I was r running. Okay, because you're, you're bleeding. Oh, shit. Is it bleeding again? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, these are hornets things, you know? I run into like like a lot of like hornets in my line of work and I get stung up like bad all over my face and stuff and then, you know, it starts bleeding. <laughs> oh, sounds interesting. Yeah. What is it that you do again? I work, I'm like a janitor. And, um, I'm a full-on rapist, you know? Um, Africans, dyslexics, children, that sort of thing. I'm sorry. Did you say you're a full-on rapist? No. <laughs> no, 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 no. I help, I help people, you know what I mean? I'm a, I'm a, a full, a full, a full, a full, a full. <laughs> Philanthropist? Yeah, that's exactly what it is. It gets 
blocked up in my mouth. I don't say it no good. I don't say it no good. <laughs> I'm um, a at a bar. Oh. oh God, dude, I'm so God, I love ass. it. Yeah, dude, you said you were oh, all was so so happy. crazy in the brain for a second, and my yeah, eyes were all like, oh, yeah, yeah, this is thing straight. That shirt is ruined. I know, dude, give me your shirt. You're not going to get the shirt. All right, this is what you're going to do. Go give him the down. black shirt. So it won't show through. Yourself. Talk to her about being a lawyer, okay? I can do that. Right? Right? That's going to work, and then if anything goes wrong, I'll come out there, and I'll say I'm the manager of Gojano's. Do you understand? Okay. All right? Oh, but, no, I got it. I got it. No, I'll you good? It will be good. All right, great. Uh, uh. <laughs> no. No. Just go. She's gonna be gone. Oh, she didn't leave. Oh, okay. Well, that's promising. Hey, I'm sorry about that. It took a little while. There was a guy in the bathroom. He wanted to give me a shirt, and I was fighting. I'm like, give me your shirt, bro. And he didn't want to give it to me, and it was like a whole thing. Hi. Uh, uh, I'm the manager, sure and Mr. Kelly is one of our preferred customers. It's so wonderful to see you. Mr. Kelly, they changed his name? Uh, now, I'm Charlie Kelly. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. His yeah. last name's Kelly? Yeah. Since when? It's always. It's always. Okay. Whole show. Yeah. Doesn't sound right. It's the first line, actually, in the first episode. Yeah. I can't believe you forgot that. I know this guy, he is loaded. Mr. Kelly, we have your milk boiling just the way you like it back there. You're gonna like this. First time it's about I clear out the coat room and you guys hit it in there while the steak is getting ready. What? Hit it. Charlie, make a move. No, don't. Oh my god! No. Ah! I'm leaving. You're grabbing her breasts? What are you doing? No, what does make a move mean? It doesn't, doesn't mean doesn't... stab at her breasts with your fingers. Oh, Milk, steak, and jelly beans? Mom, oh. you guys blew it, dude. You we blew it. The game plan. It was going great. I had it, man. You did not have it. They don't know shit about chicks. We don't know shit about yeah. chicks. Yeah. Well, They're going to get kicked Winters out again, I hope. Dennis. Damn. I see. I was supposed to be taking that milk steak to go then. He looks so sweaty. He's nervous. <laughs> yeah, so the Wendy's manager is all, you ain't clean that up. And I said, do your hamburgers. Why is he loading the gun? And then Artemis got all bummed out because of something I did with the onions to myself. And now she won't talk to me. <laughs> like, I don't give a shit about any of this. Hey, man, where's the baseball bat? Baseball what are they doing? We're trying to arm They're defending Charlie. themselves against Charlie. Oh, yeah. Because he's going to come in and kill everybody. Oh, don't worry about Charlie. Charlie's over this. In fact, I saw him this morning. He said he was bringing the guy a congratulatory gift. Uh oh. Really? It's a bomb. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no! It's the Hornet box! <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, no! But. Look how good his face looks. But he's gonna get stung and look like he has. And then <laughs> neither the waitress nor D are gonna okay, like him Charlie. because they both broke up before because of that. Anyway, I have been getting my revenge. I've been getting engaged to all these chicks who broke up with me in high school because of my acne, and then I dump them right before the wedding. Damn. <laughs> yeah, I just got through doing it to that coffee shop waitress. Now I'm gonna do it to this chick D Reynolds. Remember her? She was the worst. Yeah. So he's a bad guy too. Shop yeah. Just, okay, I feel better. Her kind of bad by that though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was, she was devastated. Oh. So. Well, tell you what, man. Why don't you go ahead and have this present anyway? Really? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I feel like you deserve it. <laughs> well, thanks. Karma's coming back around to him, oh, right? That's red. Right. All right. Look how happy he is. Keep it real, man. Okay. You know what? I think the waitress would like this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think so too. He's like, yeah, it fucking worked out. <laughs> All right, well. <sighs> Told ya. I love that he went there with just like evil intent, and then he surprised walking away because he actually did a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Hell yeah. When? By what did Frank do with onions? Breaking engagement. With onions? That Artemis doesn't want to talk to him. Um, well, I mean, if you... <laughs> so when they're slicing and stuff, you can kind of make like those little pyramids. Like, you know how you have those whenever like they do the... Hibachi. The hibachi stuff, yeah. and they make little volcanoes and stuff out yeah. of them. So you can have that because there's so many rings, different sizes. Mm -hmm. That would fit over stuff that you could like. Whoosh, whoosh. But onions, you're cut onions, and then like even if you wash your hands, you're, you just smell like onions for like two days. 
Now you got onion smelling dick. Might not be good. But in holes, yeah. onions have like magical capabilities and stuff like that, so maybe maybe that wouldn't be so bad. Oh the smell of onion. Magical rice. capabilities? What exactly capabilities do onions have that are magical? They get rid of like stinky feet smells. That's magic. Right, Eric? Like, you I don't think that's just that science. Feet. You need some magic for that, don't you? I've had beautifully smelling feet if, my whole life. If you put your feet into like onion water and stuff like that too, it'd just get rid of your stinky feet. Sounds like an onion like farmer like swindled you. No. Told you all these great things you could do with onions. No, not at all. Oh, holes. No. Yeah. Onions. He's right. Holes. Never mind. All of my everything that I just said, just discounted Calvin. Yep. He's right. Madame Zarani. Always in eternity. <laughs> ah, okay. I felt so much better once I found out that Brad was also a dick. Yeah. Because <laughs> I was like, oh my god, D and her just selfish like bachelorette party scheme. And oh, then he she's came the back worst. Like, I'm still love in love with you, and I'm like, oh my gosh, no, why I hate this. Ugh. But while I thought that maybe Brad and the waitress thought up a scheme. It was just Brad just is on yeah. his own scheme. And now he's yeah. going to look like he has acne because he's going to get stung by a bunch of bees. Yes, he is. And, yeah, D uh, is not going to get come up and she's just going to dump him again, probably. Aaron, this is Edward James Olmos. Oh, I yeah. remember him. Yeah. Yeah. What'd they say about him? Um, so I was going to, I look like a young one of him? Well, no, they said that he, pop, he was going to grow up with. They're just, um, I mean, they're just talking about his, his skin is not necessarily yeah. flawless. He has a lot of like scarring and scuff on his on his skin. Oh, okay. It's very very distinctive um, scarring and mm-hmm. stuff. Him and that one guy who reminds me of Tommy Lee Jones, but he has like a lot of scarring on his face too. I don't know who could that be. Two Face when he was played by Tommy Lee Jones. Yeah. Oh, no. uh, okay. I get it now. Aaron is on fire today. Pretty sure I'm right. I like Artemis and Frank together. Food fetish, though. You like them together? Yeah. Hmm. Actually, yeah, it's not they too bad. Like I, think, each I think they should stick with it. But, like, push I don't like it when they're there. together. I, I told the manager to clean it up. It's your beef. <laughs> <laughs> it's your hamburgers. <laughs> you clean it up. <laughs> they started in the bathroom. And they ended... <laughs> How did like, that end? <laughs> To be fair, they could have ordered, like, a bunch of hamburgers and taken them into the bathroom. And they're like, you're cleaning this mess up. You made this. And it's like, (laughs) it's your hamburgers. That poor, unsuspecting Wendy's. Yeah. They just descended upon that place. I gotta do any food stuff with sex. Um, This is like, I saw this thing talking about grapefruit. What about grapefruit? Oh, yeah, that, te- that technique. Yeah, the grapefruit technique. Yeah. It's supposed to be really good. I always wanted to try that one. What's the technique? Well, it's supposed to help with, like, uh... Just Google it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's it's easier to show you than describe yeah. it. Yeah. Actually, that one... <laughs> it was that one YouTube video. Yeah. I'll, I'll know it by the audio. <laughs> look, for, look for video results. And then skip ahead, like, I don't know, 20 seconds. Now, when you grapefruit your man... He has to be blindfolded. There's no ands, ifs, buts about it. Why? If you came to the bedroom with a grapefruit, what is your man going to say? What are you going to do with that? Is it going to burn and all that other thing? So you don't want any of that. So this is what you do. Say, baby, you know what? Tonight, I want to do something a little freakier. I want to suck your dick blindfolded. Your man will blindfold himself if he knows he's going to get some head. <laughs> but now, your man is in the bed. You have the grapefruit already prepared. I think right. Bed. He's so right. He's so right. He thinks you have on some new Victoria's Secrets or something. He has no idea. And what you're going to do is be a woman of your word. Now, you have to get his penis erect. So what you're going to do is just suck his dick. That's like you said you were going to do. Once he's nice and erect, what you're going to do is replace the grapefruit. That was so loud. You're going to twist up and down on his shaft and suck the head at the same time. Uh Now, ladies, remember, grapefruit is also a fat burner, so you're actually losing weight while you're sucking his dick. Now, once you're doing this technique, it feels amazing to him, but he still has no idea what you're doing. Uh So what you want to tell your man to do is this. Take the blindfold off. He's going to be looking at you like, what the hell are you doing? But he'll never say stop 
all he's going to be thinking is, I could have been fucking a grapefruit all these years. And that's the grapefruit technique. And that's the grapefruit technique. It's just not the melody. What? <laughs> <laughs> I I'm surprised button. you didn't know that, Eric. No, they didn't know that. <laughs> and it sounded like she opened a window on an airplane. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the part I, was waiting, uh. I was waiting for you to get that, to that part because that part is so. Uh, uh. I remember that sound a lot. Uh, okay, all right. Yeah, okay, so food stuff that and the grapefruit technique. Grapefruit technique, yeah, that's food stuff. Uh. But maybe onion related to that, and maybe she didn't like the onion. Yeah. You know, start crying. He took crying with onions, you know? What about the bacon bits in the hair so they fall down when we bag? I feel like a Cobb salad. That's pretty good. <laughs> you feel like a Cobb salad. That's what she said, That's right? funny. Oh, uh, yeah. That's pretty funny. I mean, that wouldn't be too bad. I like bacon. Rick would hate it. Yeah, he doesn't like bacon. No. They were sharing, like... Celery stalks, and they were like eating <laughs> it like, like, like Lady in the Tramp, Lady in the Tramp style. <laughs> Every time I cut to them, they had like peanut butter, they had whipped cream, and like, and it just the, kept getting crazier. Yeah, the only redeeming part of that is that I would only have to eat half as much celery as I would normally have to eat if I were eating a celery stalk by itself, or by myself, I should say, because I hate celery. Yeah, but I'd eat some celery if I knew I was going to get some You ever have, like, you just put the peanut butter? <laughs> 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 Calvin, about the peanut butter? You put peanut butter, like, in the I eat the peanut and butter, the and then I and reuse the celery it. because that's its only use as a utensil. No, you eat it. No, you don't. You, Wait, so you you're, eat like, the peanut butter. you're just using, like, a spoon? Yeah. And then he throws it away. Yeah. All right. Throw it in the yard. Let the birds eat it. Okay. I prefer like cucumber to celery because at least cucumber has a has a taste, and I hate cucumber. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Should I send this video to the editor with no explanation? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about that one, man. <laughs> that one might be. I think you need an explanation. I mean, it is a YouTube video, <laughs> uh, so it's past community rules. Uh, but that one. Uh, I usually don't question it. This one I question. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. That's so funny. That's full on. <laughs> Definitely don't say giving this to you for later. <laughs> yeah. You'll know, you'll you'll know what why. this means. <laughs> you'll know when it happens. <laughs> uh. Dude, what's a milk steak? I don't know what a milk steak is. Is it a real thing? Maybe a steak aged in milk. My biggest concern. Is I that thought it was, was going to be curdled milk. Yeah, and he was going to fry it up, up like the the. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. You know, oh, that's terrible. I thought that's what he was going to do. Philanthropists, okay. philanthropists don't eat that. No. My favorite meal is Charlie. Hey, there's something always sunny in this. Mm -hmm. Truth be told, the show never reveals the actual recipe for milk steak. All right. All we know is that the character Charlie prefers it boiled over hard okay. with a side of jelly beans. <laughs> um, as this doesn't really sound appealing, the recipe I'm sharing includes plenty of seasoning for the steaks as well as instructions to cook the medium rare. But it's a real thing. Milk steak? Yeah. Hmm. Um, what is a milk steak? How to make milk steak with jelly beans. <laughs> you have to get off that. Nothing, nothing good. Will that's come that's a that. dangerous, dangerous. Place. All that will happen. So, will you'll just get the worst prepared steak. All right. Here ingredients. We'll just ingredients for it. That way we all know, right? Okay. You need a uh, one medium eight ounce flat iron steak. Flat iron steak. Okay. Okay. Two cups of milk, preferably whole. Uh huh. Okay. A quarter cup of honey. Half a okay. tablespoon of cinnamon, or maybe it's a teaspoon. Uh, half a teaspoon of nutmeg. Half or uh, one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And garnish half a cup of jelly beans. Mm -hmm. No. Nope. That sounds. So like you boil it in. You boil it in the milk. In the milk, I guess. There it is. It looks disgusting. It looks terrible. Terrible. So I guess the cooking process is that you you, yeah, add milk, honey, cinnamon, nutmeg, and vanilla to a saucepan, heat it up until it kind of starts to dissolve everything and boils, and then just put the steak in there. And let it simmer until the steak is cooked. I don't think that's worse, uh, worth going after wasp. 
No. Mm-hmm. No. Mm-hmm. So he wanted the honey for that? Yeah. Well, or whatever they had that was delicious. Yeah, you smoking them. Yeah. It almost looked like he had like some the kind of weird the box bong, and I thought he was yeah. like breathing it in, not breathing it out. I thought he was smoking them, not smoking them. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, that's yeah. what I thought, too. Like, man, he does not understand the smoke <laughs> he's There's got to be something good in here. It's just lit inside, yeah. and the smoke's going. They're trying to escape, and he's sucking them up. Oh, my gosh. His hobbies are also magnets. Oh, yes. Magnets are cool. Like like using magnets, making magnets, like eating making magnets. magnets. I like having magnets and like making them like you know do chase each other. Stuff, yeah. You can't touch me. Yep. It all gets ruined once you cross the threshold of the magnet. Yeah. Oh, okay. Did you mean like just the house or something else? Just like knees. Yeah, you don't like knees. What's no, I was just saying, like, no, you, know, you said, like, I get it. Sometimes knees can look weird. What do you mean they look weird? They're like knees. I mean, they do, but, like, sometimes it's just, like, sometimes they just look weird. Why do weird knees look weird? I don't know. Like, not all, I mean, all, all knees look different. So sometimes, like, when you take, like, knees, they, just, they look, they look knee, weird, right? Like, just take a knee. What's weird about them? Knees. Let's look at knees. Like, the skin on the knees? Pictures of knees. Like, you know, just, like, like knees, knees, knees just look knees. they just look weird, you know? Why do they look weird? Like look like those knees look very different than knees knees. Oh. Know? They all look like knees. Yeah. I thought you guys were talking about your sibling's daughter. Niece? No. Yeah, they look weird. That skin on them's all weird. My nieces are beautiful. How <laughs> dare you? <laughs> See like then they do this kind of thing when they're like kind of like locked. And it's like where, yeah, where they look normal. like they're frowning. Fine. Yeah, they yeah. Look, it looks like a little face looks right like there. Look at that healthy face. Healthy yeah. you know? human knees. It just looks kind of weird. I, I'm, I just I, that's why I wear pants. That's not why I wear pants. See, looks good. Are you? Do you have shoes on right now? You do. Yeah. But, Holy crap! But this one's broken. <laughs> New shoes. You can see his sock. No, What's that's wrong not my with you? sock. How can you? That's foam. Don't. You'll break them. <laughs> you can't you... walk normally in How them. Otherwise, can you wear those? they'll break a little bit more. They still work and they're comfy. They don't. <laughs> they don't work. I haven't found the shoes. They don't keep his feet dry from the bottom. Well, yeah, I don't walk in water. If he, if he right, walks on the right one, I don't walk in water. If he walks in water that this is a quarter of an inch see? deep, it will. Squirt up through the crack in his shoe and getting, fill this it. This motherfucker had that blue truck for so loose. long, and now he's wearing. Now he's got the shoes. Shoes that have been torn apart for a year. Not been a year. This happened after I got my new truck. You eat around. No. So I had to. You eat around mold when you. Eat I, I remember. I just got a new you're truck. so frugal. I remember. Thank you so much for watching this episode of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. The discussion, the reaction, all the fun things that brings, and. We'll update you next week to see if this has been fixed. Unless Aaron says there's no problem. In which case you can't fix it. It works. It's still sausage. <laughs>